Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bloomer.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple workflow in Soho CRM. Let's start. All right, I'm already in the setup page of my Soho CRM account and I'm going to click here where it says workflow rules under automation. And here you're going to be able to see any other workflows that you have, otherwise it's going to be empty. To create a new workflow, click on this button, create rule and then select the module that this workflow is gonna be for. In this case, we're gonna select opportunities and in my company, opportunities are deals. And then let's name the rule and click on next. And this is the workflow editor. So on when, we're gonna select on a record action and it's gonna be edit. And we're gonna click here where it says specific field gets modified. And we're gonna do stage is modified to the value contract. Meaning that every time we move a deal to the contract stage, this workflow is gonna be triggered. If you move the deal to any other stage, this workflow is not going to be triggered. Also, if you create or delete a deal in the contract stage, this workflow is not going to run. The only time that it's gonna run is when we edit the record, meaning that we have to move the deal to the contract stage. So now we're gonna click on next. And here we're gonna apply a filter because we don't wanna run this workflow on every single opportunity that it's moved to contract. So we're gonna do job type is rear roof. Meaning that if the job type is not rear roof, this workflow is not going to run. Now click on next, and the action is gonna be create a task. So we're gonna click here, and we're gonna add a new task. Let's add a name. Let's add a due date. You can also assign it to a specific user. And finally click on save and associate. And the workflow is pretty much set up, meaning that every time we move a deal to the contract stage and that deal is a re-roof, then Soho CRM is gonna create a task called send samples and it's gonna assign it to the deal owner. The last thing we have to do is click on save and make sure that the workflow was turned on. So this is the workflow that we just created and it is on. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I also have other videos about Soho CRM in this channel, so feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching.